Hi Scorpio, this is your May 2nd or May 8th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly reading. So I have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Fool. We have the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. In the potential outcome, we have the Two of Cups with the Sun and the Lovers. And we also have Strength on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Leo or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Whatever this person's Zodiac sign is, this person is at least your soulmate. At least your soulmate. They're definitely your soulmate. <laughs> but potentially even more, depending on what you believe in. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, you could be dealing with the Leo, right? We got strength on the bottom of the deck and the sun in the middle of the uh, potential outcome. Both of those cards represent the zodiac sign of Leo. Right, or somebody with a lot of Leo in their chart. The lovers right next to the deck is the personal Gemini card. But again, you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. And uh, it's going to be an instant connection. You're not going to even think twice. Whatever the circumstances, how you guys meet, um, I think you'll start a conversation and uh, this person is going to say something like, would you like to go out with me sometime or would you like to... Uh, do something together with me sometime and I think before they finish that sentence you'll you'll already say yes so they'll be like would you like to uh, and you'll, you'll be like yes <laughs> I'm not saying you're desperate I'm not saying that you are falling for this person hard perhaps you are what I'm saying is it's gonna be an instant connection and it's gonna be a very mutual this person feels the same way about you all right, so here comes the uh, Page of Cups, the first card that came out. This is somebody approaching you, reaching out to you. If you meet this person in a, some sort of an establishment, they may offer to buy you an adult beverage. Um, or it could be just the indication that they're going to be super nice to you. You know, the Page of Cups to me personally is the nicest page out of all four pages. I don't mean to insult <laughs> the, the remaining pages, but the... Uh, uh, Page of Cups always talks about just them being super nice to you, giving you flowers, taking you out, just uh, being very romantic, right? Um, and uh, what's important about this Page of Cups is that the Page of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So <laughs> you're going from a page to an Ace, the Ace of Pentacles, not just any Ace, but the Ace of Pentacles. To me personally, the Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of all Aces. I don't mean to belittle <laughs> any other Aces. But the Ace of Pentacles is like a package, it's like a bundle. All Aces combined into one. So you see how the Page of Cups is holding up um, a cup, right? And uh, they've got their other arm on their waist and they're kind of hiding something behind their back a little bit. That's what it kind of looks like. So what they're hiding is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, somebody who is ready to start a family. And one of the interpretation of the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. And I think both of you will feel this way instantly. You'll feel, you'll instantly feel this is a golden opportunity for both of you because it's going to be an instant connection. And therefore, with the full card, the next card that came out, you're just going for it. This is a card of taking a leap of faith, not thinking twice, jumping head first. And uh, that's what I think you're doing. Both of you actually are, right? Then we have the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. The Queen of Cups, that would be you, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And I clarified the Queen of Cups just to double check how will... Scorpio feel about this whole situation and the will of fortune is clarifying the Queen of Cups. Yes, the answer is absolutely yes. You're 100% on board. <laughs> For some of you, the will of fortune could be travel involved, so you could definitely be on board, literally. <laughs> or, if we want to stay general, then the will of fortune is the start of a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle, and you know it. You know it, right? The word fortune and the will of fortune is there for a reason. Right? Um, the Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. Strength on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. This is the personal Leo card, as already mentioned. Uh, the Sun is also a Leo card, so you could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart. Strength could be interpreted in so many different ways. And one of them is uh, pure, raw passion. Right? So we've got the Ace of Pentacles here so far. Uh, we've got passion here. And uh, we also have a lot of love, 
a lot of love and I'm not just saying it the first card in the uh, potential outcome is the two of cups this is a soulmate card this is a card of unconditional love this is a card of two people feeling the same way towards one another two people on the same page the Sun is a Leo card but at the same time the Sun is the happiest card in the deck plain and simple it is the happiest card in the deck right and uh, the Sun all is also a card of clarity so you will be crystal clear from the very beginning what this person means to you what this connection means to you right the Sun is a card of feeling on top of the world the Sun is a card of joy right and whenever the full and the Sun card come out in the same spread I always point out the similarities between those two cards you see in the full card in the right upper corner we have the Sun right and the gesture of the person in the full card and the kid riding the horse in the sun card, they're almost identical. You see how they've got their arms spread out and to me personally this is a gesture of a very happy person. Right, and uh, I guess the chair on top, the lovers, the last card I came out is the personal Gemini card. This, this person could be a Gemini or a Gem with Gemini in their chart. Or the lovers could be, just like the Two of Cups, a soulmate card. So like I said in the beginning, this person is at least your soulmate. The lovers is also a twin flame connection card if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers could simply be the lover of your life. As a matter of fact, the Lovers is one of the best cards in the tarot deck when it comes to a love connection between two people. And the only other card, in my opinion, that, that comes close to it is the Two of Cups. And you got both of them right there. And uh, don't forget about that sound card sandwiched in between of them, which is the happiest card in the deck. So you see where I'm going with that? This is amazing. This is just amazing. It starts off with a Page of Cups, but we've got the uh, Ace of Pentacles right behind it and we got you feeling awesome feeling great feeling 100 percent on board we've got two soulmate cards we've got the happiest card in the deck so yeah it's you're not even going to think twice instant connection instant chemistry because this person is at least your soulmate really happy for you scorpio congratulations Scorpio, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description box down below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person moving forward, and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Scorpio, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ten of uh, Wands, clarified by the Eight of Swords. We have the World. Uh, we have uh, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. And we also have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. Let me get the obvious out of the way right away for you, Scorpio. If you've been trying to get pregnant for a while, then you may hear some good news this week. Right? For others of you... This is still some kind of a tough period of your life that's coming to an end because something new is about to enter it, something good, perhaps material, right? So anyway, um, the Empress on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, let's talk about scenario number one. The Empress in this case is somebody who is expecting a baby, right? And uh, the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Swords, the first two cards on the left, this is what's been happening. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden, and this is a card of a difficulty. This is a card of an obstacle, right? And uh, if you've been trying to get pregnant for a while, then it's been a tough journey for you, right? The Eight of Swords, clarifying it, is a card of a, somebody who is stuck, trapped in their own thoughts, somebody who is thinking and overthinking. So yeah, it's been taking a burden on you, right? It's been taking a toll on you. That's what I was trying to say. But the good news is, with the world card, all of that is going to come to an end. The world is my happy end card. One chapter of your life is coming to an end, and a new chapter of your life is about to begin. Right? Then here comes the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles could be a child. Right? Pages are kids. Children. Right? Or the Page of Pentacles is simply good news. Right? And the Three of Pentacles clarifying it in this case, this is a card of collaboration. <laughs> well, it takes more than one person for someone to get pregnant, right? Um, but uh, it could be um, like you going to different doctors, going to different uh, medical facilities, just trying to get consultation, trying to get help, right? Or uh, basically, like I said, working with another person on this issue. And uh, to this week, you will hear some good news. There will be results, <laughs> all right? Um, in scenario number two, the three of pentacles, it could be you getting a job offer, right? Or your boyfriend, your girlfriend, significant other could be 
finally finding a new job and that they've been struggling with it they've been looking for a new job they've been going to different interviews they've been it's been tough for them but but with the with the world card all of that is finally coming to an end because with the page of pentacles clarified by the three of pentacles here comes this new job offer the three of pentacles in this case is a team environment which usually translates into a workplace environment or a business place environment and the page of pentacles is an offer to start a new job Right then, with the the Empress on the bottom of the deck, that is probably still you. Uh, the Empress is also abundance. You know, it could be uh, financial abundance in this particular scenario. Right. Um, in other situation, that Page of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles, it could still be some sort of a group setting. Right. It's collaboration. It's uh, you doing something with other people. Perhaps you've been trying to. Um, get your child, if you have a child, into a particular school or a particular summer camp and uh, you've been struggling because uh, you were put on the waiting list and this week you'll be hearing some good news. Yes, uh, your, your child has been accepted, right? Your kid, uh, the Page of Pentacles, is going to be collaborating with other kids with the Page of Pentacles in a summer camp or a school you, you were trying to get the, your child into. So this is, either, either way, this is some good news, all right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also keep in mind, Mercury retrograde is upon us. It starts on the 10th, but uh, the pre-shadow period starts a few days earlier. Uh, this is when more X's than usual tend to resurface. And here's one of them. We have Judgment, we have the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Swords, and uh, we also have the Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah, the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, this is the person trying to get back into your good graces, and I think they're going to try really hard, because they know they messed, they messed up, and they know they've got their work cut out for them. Right, judgment, the first card I came out, is a card of somebody coming back from the past, and uh, this King of Pentacles, like I said, could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If they're not an Earth sign, then this is somebody who is grounded, somebody who perhaps works for a financial institution. They could be wealthy. Right, they're coming in with the Knight of Pentacles offer. This is a very serious offer. You know, this is the slowest knight out of all four knights. If this person is an Earth sign, this Knight of Pentacles makes total sense. But either way, the Knight of Pentacles means that they thought this offer through. Right? Um, however, you're not going to be welcoming this person with open arms. As a matter of fact, quite the opposite. Your initial reaction is going to be nine of wands. I think that's you. This is a card of a wounded warrior. This is a card of somebody who doesn't trust the person they're dealing with. In this case, this is you not trusting this king of pentacles. So yeah, whatever they did to you, it must have been bad, right? And like I said, they know they messed up. They know they've got their work cut out for them. That's why they're coming in with the knight of pentacles. A serious offer. I'm gonna call it a 50-50, Scorpio, you know. The Ace of Swords clarifying the Nine of Wands, I think this energy comes from you. You know, you'll just have to make a decision. Um, and uh, the Ace of Swords often reminds me of the Justice card. Justice in one of the hands is holding up a sword. So what's your decision, Scorpio? Yay or nay? <laughs> pretty much. You will have time to think about it. The Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck, I think this is you taking a little break to wrap your head around it, to figure out if this is something you want, if you can forgive and forget and give them another chance or not. So whatever that Ace of Swords represents, that is your final decision. Yay or nay. Alright, 100% up to you. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances. Um, Scorpio, this week we have the Magician, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Swords, and we also have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Somebody here is making a decision. It could be you or it could be them. And by them I mean if you've been applying for new jobs, perhaps they are deciding between you and another person. I've got to be honest with you, right? That's what usually happens. Um, and I think it's going to go in your favor. Even if um, somebody is deciding between you and another person, it's going to go in your favor. If you're the one making a decision, then uh, you will come up with some sort of an answer. Anyway, the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck, that's you, the Scorpio, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The Six of Pentacles right there in the middle. This is, uh, that card as pretty much all 
cards could be interpreted in multiple ways, but in this case, I think this is a card of a decision, right? Because um, the person standing up, standing in the middle, they're holding up scales, and scales are all about pros and cons, yes or no, that type of deal, right? And there's two people uh, kind of sitting down, right, on their knees. But in this case, it could be uh, your future employer deciding between you and another person, or it could be you deciding between two different um, job offers, right, or two different investment opportunities, right? So the magician, the first guy that came out, um, that's probably you, you know. The magician is somebody who's got all the tools they need at their disposal. So the magician is the magi is the uh, miracle worker, somebody who is the best at what they do. Right? You can make anything happen. And that's why they're choosing you if you're the one applying for a job. With the Ace of Swords right next to the deck, this is the decision. This is the word yes. So yes, you got the job. Yes, um, you start two weeks from now. <laughs> you know? Um, if you are the one deciding between two different job offers or two different investment opportunities, you're still the magician. You know? You can still... the the they still think of you as the magician, right? And the Ace of Swords is your decision. So you'll you'll have to figure out what you want here. All right. Either way, this is a good spread. I see something going in your favor for sure. All right. Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, uh, Scorpio, this week. We have the Two of Cups, we have the King of Wands, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we also have Death on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Well, I gotta be honest with you, um, Scorpio. I don't know if you've watched the Extended, or if you're going to watch the Extended. You don't have to. If you do, I would really appreciate it. But the King of Wands showed up in the Extended. Uh, if the cards come out, I gotta be honest and <laughs> disclose it. Right? So, yeah, the King of Wands showed up in the Extended. And I think this spread right here has to do with the new love situation we talked about in the very first spread here and in the extended. What you're not expecting is this King of Wands coming to your life and it's going to get serious right away, right? And this person is definitely your soulmate, right? The, the Two of Cups, the first card I came out, is a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of two people being on the same page, feeling the same way towards one another. The Ace of Pentacles, we saw it in the first spread, right? This is a different deck, by the way. I use different decks for different spreads. Um, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. You know, this card often comes through as a proposal, by the way. And um, Death on the bottom of the deck is your personal card, Scorpio. That's you. Death also showed up in the Extended. Wow. The universe is trying to get this point across, bypassing me. <laughs> Anyway, so what you're not expecting is this King of Wands with an amazing offer, long-term offer that the Ace of Pentacles here represents and uh, there's, there's definitely a soulmate connection. Lots of love between the two of you. Alright, so yeah, it's interesting how tarot works sometimes. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I got for you Scorpio for this uh, week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe, and other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.